Hi, I'm Dr. Helen Lawal. I'm going to show you how to do an Orient Gene Rapid COVID-19 self-test on yourself and on a child. You can also use this guidance for testing someone else who may require help. Many people with COVID-19 have mild or even no symptoms, but can still spread the virus. This self-test kit is a swab for the nose only. It is not suitable for people who are prone to nosebleeds, who have had facial or head injury surgery in the last six months. Visually impaired people can still use our test kits, but may need assistance. The test takes 15 minutes to process your sample and give a result. Make sure you read the instructions that come in your kit first, as this test may be different from those you have used before. Failure to follow instructions may lead to an incorrect result. Before you do the test, make sure you do the following. Immediately before performing the test, clear, clean and dry a flat surface to put the home test kit on. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. If you are helping a child or someone else, ensure they do the same. Check test kit contents. Run one test at a time. You will need the following for each test you do. A sterile swab inside sealed wrapper. A test cassette in a sealed pouch. An extraction tube with buffer. A nozzle cap. A plastic waste bag. An extraction tube holder. These are reusable, so do not discard. There should be enough supplies for seven tests. Make sure that nothing is damaged or broken before undertaking the test. Check the expiry date on the sealed pouch. If you notice anything is damaged, broken, missing, do not use it. And if you wish to provide feedback on this, please call 119. Keeping the extraction buffer tube away from your face, carefully peel off the sealing film on the tube to avoid spilling any fluid. Place the extraction tube containing the buffer into the extraction tube holder. Gently blow your nose into a tissue. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds again using soap and warm water or hand sanitizer. Find the sterile swab in the sealed wrapper. Identify the soft fabric tip of the swab. Peel open the swab package and gently take out the swab. Never touch the fabric tip of the swab with your hands or touch any surfaces. Now it's time to take your swabs. Please ensure all nose piercings or similar jewellery are removed prior to swabbing. First nostril. Place the fabric tip of the swab just inside one nostril, approximately 2.5 centimetres up. Gently wipe the swab around the inside of your nostril in a circular motion five times. Ensure there's good contact between the fabric tip of the swab and the inside of the nostril. No force is needed and you do not have to push far into your nostril. Second nostril. Use the same swab and repeat the process in the second nostril. If you experience a nosebleed during the swabbing, please stop swabbing. The swab cannot be tested. It is recommended to consult your doctor if bleeding persists. Now I'm going to show you how to test a child or someone else. Children under 12 years old should be tested by an adult. Adolescents between the ages of 12 to 17 can self-test and report with adult supervision. However, the adult may conduct the test if preferred or necessary. If you are testing a child or someone else, help them blow their nose if necessary. And ensure you both wash your hands for 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer. First nostril. Place the fabric tip of the swab just inside one nostril of the child or the person you are testing. Gently wipe the swab around the inside of their nostril in a circular motion five times. No force is needed and you do not have to push far into the nostril. Make sure there's good contact between the fabric tip of the swab and the inside of the first nostril. Second nostril. Use the same swab and repeat the process in the second nostril. Now it's time to process the swab sample. Place the fabric tip of the swab into the extraction tube fluid. Press the tip against the edge of the extraction tube with force while rotating it around the tube at least six times. Leave the swab in the extraction tube, set a timer and leave for one minute. Withdraw swab from the extraction tube. 
Place the swab into the plastic waste bag. Push the nozzle cap tightly onto the extraction tube to avoid any leaks. Place the extraction tube back in the extraction tube holder. Take the test cassette out of the seal pouch and place it onto the cleaned flat surface. Gently squeeze the extraction tube to place four drops of the liquid onto the sample well on the test cassette. Set a timer and wait 15 minutes to read your results. Do not leave the test to develop for longer than 20 minutes as the test may give a false reading. Find the result window and look carefully for the lines in the window. The presence of only a control line, C, within the result window indicates the test is negative. The presence of two lines, a control line C and a test line T, even a faint line within the result window indicates the test is positive. If the control line C is not visible within the result window after performing the test, the result is considered void. If you get a void result, you must perform a new test. You should report negative, positive and void results to the NHS within 24 hours. This helps the NHS monitor the spread of the virus and continue to support communities across the UK. Remember, you've only completed your test once you've reported your results. To report your results, you need the QR code, you can scan this with your phone, or the ID number. Both can be found on the test strip. The fastest way to report your result is by doing so online. If you live in England, Wales or Northern Ireland, visit www.gov.uk forward slash report dash COVID-19 dash result. If you live in Scotland, visit www.covidtest.scot or you can report by telephone. Please call 119. Lines are open every day, 7am to 11pm. Place the test cassette into the plastic waste bag along with the extraction tube, swab and any remaining packaging waste except for the extraction tube holder. Place a plastic waste bag into your general household waste. If you are testing more than one person or repeating a void test, re-wash your hands between each test. If you get a positive result, it is likely you are infected with coronavirus and risk infecting others. When you report your result, you will be provided with further information on the next steps to take. What you should do now? You should isolate and anyone who lives with you should follow current local and national guidelines. You can find these online at nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus. You should also book a confirmatory PCR test. If you get a negative result, it is likely you were not infectious at the time the test was taken. A negative test result, however, is not a guarantee that you do not have coronavirus. If you test negative, you should continue to follow national and local rules and guidelines. If you develop symptoms, you should self-isolate and order a PCR test at gov.uk forward slash get dash coronavirus dash test. Those in your household should ensure they follow current local and national guidelines. If you get a void result, this means that the test has not run correctly. You need to take another test. Use a new test kit, but do not reuse any of the components from the test you have just done. Thank you for watching and don't forget to report your results.